Tonight on BCN Weekly News. This week's special report, the Empty Bowl Program. Support the Berea Food Bank by purchasing a ceramic bowl and meal from the farm store. More on this initiative coming next. Also, looking to stay at Berea College this summer? New labor positions are up for grabs from May to August. And the SGA elections are approaching. We've got all, everything you need to know coming up next. All of this and more coming up soon tonight on BCN Weekly News. Live from BCN Arts Studio in Berea, Kentucky, this is BCN Weekly News. Good evening and welcome back to another newscast of BCN Weekly News. My name is Esteban Reina. For this week's special report, the Berea Food Bank gives back to the community. On April 8th and the 22nd, the farm store will have 50 bowls for purchase and all proceeds are given back to the community. Our reporter Anupriya Dixit has more on this. Anupriya? Empty Bowls program is an annual fundraising event in which participants buy a locally made ceramic bowl and a lunch of soup and bread from the farm store. This year, the event will last four weeks starting from March 21st to April 22nd. Participants can place orders starting from Monday at noon and collect their bowls from the farm store on Friday between 2.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. The cost of one bowl and meal is only $10 and the number of bowls is limited to 50 empty bowls each week. Therefore, all participants are encouraged to order early. The event is being organized by Kels in collaboration with the farm store and the ceramics department. The bowls sold at the event are made by ceramic student volunteers, local children, and local professional potters. We also have bowls that um, children have painted for us through the um, crafts program here on campus. We still have a few of these left. Um, and also, of course, our beautiful bowls that student potters here on campus do to showcase their artwork also. I make make uh, bowls for the Empty Bowl Project, sometimes I'll meditate on the idea of the simplicity of the bowl, the simplicity of the event. Um, and really, that's what it's all about, is not, it, it shouldn't be really fancy. The bowls are very inexpensive. And it, it's kind of a, a small kind of grassroots effort to to fight hunger. The event is usually held in Woodspan Commons, but this year, due to COVID, the event is being held through an alternative online order and pickup system. All the proceeds from the Empty Bowls program will go to support the Berea Food Bank. This is Anupriya Dixit reporting from BCNR Studio for BCN Weekly News. Thank you, Anupriya. In other news, with the summer rapidly approaching, many students have to make plans on where they will work. According to the Labor Program's website, there are more than 78 job openings on campus, ranging from retail to farm work. Students can still secure a job on campus. The deadline for summer status forms is Monday, April 18th. You can find a link to the Labor Program's summer vacancies in the description box. In preparation for the SGA elections for this semester, Executive SGA President Connor Courtney announced the following offices will be up for grabs. Executive President and Vice President, six offices for sophomore, junior and senior class presidents and vice presidents, and three offices for class senators. Students who want to run for office must contact the Elections Committee by Sunday, April 10th. Coming next on BCN Weekly News, Berea College celebrates its annual Jassy Nights this week. Stay tuned as reporter Mac Carmack covers what's new, what's new and what students might expect from the event. We'll be right back after this short break. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do.
She gave them some broth without any bread and kissed them all soundly and put them to bed. Hunger is a story we can end. End it at feedingamerica.org. Thanks for staying with us. Jazzy Nights, the annual event at Berea College, will come back once again this spring. Two years ago, the dance was cancelled, and just like last year, Jazzy Nights will take place with the same mask restrictions. Our reporter, Mac Carmack, covers some things to expect at this year's dance. Mac? Thanks, Esteban. Berea College students are about to celebrate the annual Jazzy Nights. Jazzy Nights is a dance Berea hosts on the alumni patio. The event will begin at 9 p.m. and will last until 12.30 a.m. In case of bad weather, the dance will be moved to the Upper Seabury Gym. Some extra things to know. This dance is similar to homecoming. Students may choose to dress more formally or casually, whatever is more comfortable to wear. The theme this year is masquerade. Don't have a mask? Don't worry. The first 400 students present will receive a mask. I interviewed some students around campus to see if they had any questions or their thoughts on the Jazzy Nights this year. I'm really excited for Jazzy Nights. I already bought my fit. I'm ready to dance. You know, I'm excited to see if it's better and bigger than last year because it was a little iffy because, you know, the COVID semester. But this time, I'm just ready to, you know, have a good time. You know, I'm excited to go to Jazzy Night because my friends are going to be there and I like to dance. So we're definitely going to dance. Um, I just, I'm a little worried about the weather because I bought some shorts and it might be a little cold or a little rainy. But other than that, I'm excited to go. The SGA has sent a list of do's and don'ts to students about the event. Students may not bring bags or purses, wear high heels, or bring outside food and drinks. Fortunately, with the change in COVID restrictions, non-Bereans may attend the event as a plus one. Last, we are told students might expect a random breathalyzer test at entry. I hope to see many students at the Jazzy Nights this year for the first time. Make sure to bring your ID and come as you are. This is Matt Carmack reporting live from the Alumni Building for Berea College News and Radio. Back to you, Esteban. We hope everyone will enjoy this semester's Jazzy Nights. On behalf of our news team, thank you for watching BCN Weekly News. I'm Esteban Reina. For more coverage, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Berea College News Radio and watch our show online at www.bcnewsradio.com. Good night.